Hi everyone, it is me Maika and today I'm doing another studio vlog and I thought this is a great way to actually show you how I prepare orders on my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna take you guys with me for that today. The original plan for the mermaid book was that I add a special print to it. And the special is supposed to be um, a print of the rainbow mermaid that I made for mermaid. And um, I thought I'd just ship it with the book order because it's special and you can't get it as a regular print in my shop, just with the book in combination. And um, there were more things that I wanted to add. For example, I have these beautiful rainbow mermaid holographic stickers and I do want to add one of these to the order. And um, I also did some beautiful thank you cards with one of the artworks from this year's mermaid. Yeah, so basically um, for my mermaid book I want to make sure that each book is signed. And it should not just be signed, it should also include something like a personal note. So basically uh, this is the big batch of copies that I got from the mermaid book. So let's start printing the extra print that I'm going to include in my book orders. You never know what's happening when you ship orders, so you just make sure that everything is packed well with those clear bags. So let's pack that in. So now it is time to sign the mermaid book and I think I didn't show you guys my book before but here it is. Okay so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the book. I really like the cover because it's in a matte finish and it looks so beautiful. It really makes the colors pop. So this is the first page where I'm gonna put my signature on. And then here we have the introduction page. And there's a lot of mermaids coming now. And I really like the transition from page to page because it's getting from the yellow colors to red to blue. So cool to see that on each page. I'm gonna pack everything into this little envelope. And it has that beautiful gold accent. These are in a holographic effect. So you see you have that rainbow effect on the hair. It's so beautiful, I swear. And I also prepared these thank you cards. Because she was one of my favorites and I had to put her on the thank you card. And I'm gonna add one test sheet of my to-do list. Most of you guys have probably seen it on Instagram. And yes, I did finish all of these here. So many, I swear. <laughs> It is time for a little break and I'm gonna make myself some food because I'm super hungry. Mm. 
Now it is time to sign a lot of books. See, this is all I gotta sign. goodness the personalization on the books takes so crazy long I am still working on them and this is how far I got so far but you guys see that I still got a lot of stuff to do I still have like seven books left and yeah let's just continue on that because I want to be done because it's already pretty late here in Germany. It's already starting to get dark. It is like 8.30 here in the evening and I'm getting tired and I really want to get done now. So I'm basically done and now I just got to pack the books into the cardboard envelopes and I also have these kind of bags to just make them a little safer in the envelope and I'm gonna pack them now. Hello and good morning. Today I have to continue working on the packing and packing the envelopes because I couldn't finish it yesterday. It was very late until I went to bed and I was too tired to continue on that. So I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, as you can see I left my office yesterday and it still does look quite messy. But I'm gonna clean up everything as soon as I'm done with the packing stuff. So now I'm using my little scale to weight everything because I have different kind of packages. There are like heavier ones and lighter ones and because some people bought two books and I need to make sure that I use the right shipping. Okay, so I am done with packing now. I put all the labels on the envelopes and now I have to go to the post office. I need to ship it now because the post office is closing in an hour, so I'm going now. <laughs> this is freaking heavy, especially if you just have one free hand. I am done for today. The last thing I have to do is to 
go through all the tracking numbers and add them on Etsy and they have to mark each item as shipped. And then I'm done.